Hey, God bless you guys. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Hope you're all having a blessed day. It's a little brisk, but sunny and gorgeous out. Uh, years ago, quite a few years ago, over a decade, the Lord gave me this download of a revival that he showed me. I had just come back from church with my wife. We were at a, uh, a restaurant. We we're coming back from there after church. And I had to say, oops, excuse me. We're going to this, uh, we're going back from this uh, lunch that we just had. And I had the this worship song blasting out my windows as I'm driving down the highway. We're stopped at a stoplight. And um, I start to get this download of this revival. It's like a beautiful revival that I saw. I saw everybody in this revival. Everybody was coming to the cross. Everybody was at the feet of Jesus Christ. Nobody was better than the other one, according to the cross. Everybody was a sinner. Everybody's wicked. Everybody's coming and repenting and getting right with the Lord. I saw every kind of person. I saw the poorest of the people to the richest of the people. I saw criminals, and I saw those who were in police enforcement. I saw all kinds of people that needed to get right with Jesus, that had broken his law and were going straight to hell. But because God's mercy came to them, they were at the foot of the cross with everybody else, all coming together like the Acts Church in this beautiful harvest of souls before the Lord. I believe it is, this is what the wedding feast that Jesus Christ is talking about in his word. Because if you look at his word, he talks about those who were called refused to put their wedding garments on and went off to their businesses and if you look at the church today the church is run like a business it's not it's not a real true minister ministry they're not truly surrendering their hearts to the lord they're not walking in the spirit they're putting talent over the anointing of god and they are putting business over the will of the spirit of god and it's very evil and god says or sorry jesus said in his word that those he called were not worthy. You know, these people in the church today, they're not worthy and they're not even, they don't want to suffer for Christ. They don't want to die to themselves. That's part of the anointing. You have to die to your flesh in order for the power of Jesus Christ to work through you. And today, instead of working in the spirit, they're all working in their flesh and calling people through their own uh, talents and turning his church into an entertainment complex instead of a powerful house of prayer in the spirit it's become a it's become something that Christ never called it to be it's become a compromised house where they turn it into a den of thieves I even went to a church a long time ago where they're selling merchandise all over the front uh, entrance it's huge entrance to the church had merchandise all over the place. This is over, this is before I was starting to wake up as a Christian and start to understand what's really going on. I remember thinking to myself, how is, isn't this just like when Jesus drove out the money changers? I thought in my head, I thought, oh, well, you know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be some reason that they're doing this. It can't be the same thing. But today I realized it was the same thing, you know, just a bunch of people using the church to sell their merchandise. And this is all going to be, it's all gonna fail. It's all gonna fail. And the only one that's gonna rise up is a true church that is walking in the power and the glory and the, the spirit of God. And the spirit requires death to the flesh and life in the spirit. That's what the spirit is all about. And all these people I saw coming to the cross and I saw that nobody was going to take over this uh, church with their own agendas. They were not going to compromise, come in, take over, and take all the glory. It was going to be all Christ Jesus who was the head of this church. Anyone who's going to lead this church is going to submit to his will. If they didn't submit to his will, they were going to get thrown out on their duff. Just like the person that Jesus said got into the wedding feast without his garments on. And the king said to him, how did you get in here? Without your garments on, friend. And the guy was speechless. He said, tie this guy hand and foot, throw him out into the darkness where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
and uh, also says that the foolish virgins they will not enter enter in, but the wise will, and they will bang on the door wanting to get in. What are they trying to get in? They're trying to get in to the power and the and the uh, presence of God. The presence has left the building for them, and the presence has come and anointed his true church that have submitted to him, listened to him, followed his spirit, and walked in a submission to the Lord Jesus Christ when everybody else is compromising and attacking them for doing so. The Lord is going to raise up his true church in these last days. It's the Acts Church. It's the same church, but there's another chapter. Chapter 29 is coming, my friends. So don't be left out. Don't be left out knocking and you say, I don't know you. You can't get in now. You gotta, you gotta surrender. You gotta submit. You gotta walk in the spirit and uh, discern these false religious spirits out there today that want you to walk in the flesh instead of the spirit. It's all over the church today. So read your Bibles, walk in the spirit, submit to God, take up your cross in Jesus' name, and God bless you.